I thought from day one this is a really student-centered school and I feel like every experience I've had since I've, since I've been here for my first two years um, has just reinforced that. I think VCU has a really diverse population. I think maybe the biggest benefit for us as first-year students is that we've had professors bring in patients that they interact with in the hospital either in an ethics session or in one of our general classes and that's been nice to kind of have some of that to see the interaction between the patients and their physicians. Having the hospital right around the corner and having it be so associated with the university, a lot of the doctors are so willing to let you shadow them. I mean, in the ER, in the trauma unit, I mean, it's really impressive how open they are to showing students and teaching them what they do. I was kind of worried that I'll kind of get lost in the mix coming here, and very, I was very surprised by how personable and how open the teachers are. They're very open to like just coming by the office hours, they mentioned that, and just hanging out with them. I think that's pretty... Um, a good aspect that I like about this school. I feel like for a student who's applying to med school, it's really important to find a school that you fit well in. And I think the doctors here, for the most part, I think they all like are, are willing to make students feel feel welcome here. And that's the, that's the feeling I got from day one. And, and I've gotten to know a lot of doctors, and I feel like the doctors are all really, really willing and, and able to to understand what we're going through. Especially the doctors that aren't so far removed from, let's say, training, like and the doctors who um, you probably saw at the Van Free yes. Clinic. And a lot of times they understand the importance of having that clinical um, clinical interaction so earlier on in your career, because that's the stuff that you remember later on. And you never have to think about the whole thing, just think about what that you need to do that day. allotment. Okay. You know that expression, one day at a time. Right. It's such a good expression. For something that's so important in deciding your you know, residency and stuff like that in the future, like, it's an amazing program that she lays out for you, basically telling you what you should do, how to study for your boards and stuff, which I thought was pretty amazing. Monthly town hall meeting with the deans, and it's kind of a forum for students to voice their opinions and to actually get feedback directly from the deans of the schools um, of this school. It's really remarkable. Each and every one, when they start out, they talk about their office hours and how, you know, they're open to questions, come to my office, come to come to see me anytime, just drop by or email. And we also have the bulletin board so you can post questions and classmates can answer or the professors are really good about checking that so they answer as well. So the faculty are really open. Sometimes it's even better to listen actually right over the neck as they're breathing. So why don't you do that and you'll hear a, a true tracheal breath sound. I love the way that they have FCM tied in to our classes we're already taking. So for instance, with anatomy, we'll learn various clinical skills as it relates to stuff we're learning in class. So it gives it a hands-on approach to learning. I don't think that I would have been as consistently inspired to be a doctor if we didn't have that kind of like personal experience because the humanity is what is important to me. My first patient that I saw here when I went in the room, I ended up being able to do more than I thought that I was capable of, you know, because uh, I had never really been in a room with a patient and been able to spend as much time as I wanted to. It's just a really valuable experience to us that we we have the chance to go and participate with and with patients and interact with them and really get our uh, hone our skills that we're learning in school. As in the med school there's a lot of work you have to do but FCM and Project Heart really give you the avenue to like stop and realize why you're here even if it's only for an hour just to take a break and you know realize that which, why you want to do medicine is not just because of all the book work that you need to know, you know, to help patients, but it's also important to realize the humanity aspects, and I think FCM really does that for me. When I initially thought that I wanted to come to medical school, my main reasoning for doing so was to help the underserved or the uninsured population. I think even with our foundations, to, foundations of clinical medicine and going to our local preceptorship, I get reminded of my original drive and that way I have not even, as I conclude my first year, I still have that passion going to my second year. We discussed that in Project Heart, how, you know, there's this com test coming up, you know, why do we have Project Heart right now? But then we go there and then we can talk about, you know, 
why we're here in the first place because we get so caught up in our books and our syllabi and just reading things and memorizing facts and things and then we forget the big picture and why we're here. My project heart group leader, I guess, is sort of, she's been doing it for a while, so our group is really relaxed. We like to go out to eat instead of focusing a lot on exactly what we're supposed to be doing and that way the students in the group can kind of bring forth what they're personally having problems with, if so, I mean, instead of just like saying, well, what exactly do you feel about this? <laughs> I was born in Richmond, I haven't left yet, so it has offered everything that I've needed. I was so tired of Southern California and like the big cities and the traffic and all that. And it's just, I mean, I like how it's, it's a city and you have all of that like variety, like we're talking about, we've been talking about, but that it's small and it's like an actual close-knit community. I love that. The other cool thing about Richmond is it's kind of centrally in Virginia. So if you want to go to DC, you know, you're only an hour and a half away. If you want to go to Charlotte, if you, anywhere you want to go, you can get there fairly easily. So easy to get away for a weekend too. Well, I don't think that you would see the broad spectrum of patients that we see here in a sort of rolling hills environment. I don't think you'd see as many diverse patients as we see in Richmond. Different people have different reasons for wanting to go. For me, part of it is that I'm from the area. Another reason I was interested in going is because you get to interact with students from different schools. Georgetown, GW, UVA. It's obviously an outstanding hospital. I spent a month in Italy and I did anesthesiology there. You have the choice of choosing what, you, what department you'd like to work with um, and then went to Spain to do dermatology. It helps with that whole cultural competency piece that VCU is well known for. So I mean it, you can draw back on that experience and know how other people do things, how you know one culture may be different than another. You can sort of just incorporate that a little bit better and I'll always just appreciate what you have here and know that you know some people are working at a disadvantage to give good health care when we have all these advantages right here. There's a lot of resources at VCU to you know help you feel safe with the escort service and you can call them anytime to um, take you to the parking lot, take you straight to your car. We have yellow lights all around campus that are kind of like emergency stops and those are literally everywhere in the parking lot on all the buildings, the parking garages, so that's one way to access campus police. And also just walking around, you'll see campus police on bikes and walking around and <laughs> driving around. So, I mean, the presence there just really makes you to feel safe. Other well-known like known, um, PhDs and MDs that are working here, especially in the neurobiology department and you know, the physiology department. So it's not just for us students in terms of like board prep, but then also those who are interested in research. There's a well-known group of physicians and PhDs that are here. The anatomy lab has just recently been uh, renovated from, you know, computers at pretty much every lab station to, you know, uh, blackboards and whiteboards, just so you can diagram whichever pathways you need to. It was something that really impressed me uh, this year having anatomy, and I really thought it was conducive to learning. I feel like there's everything to do here. If you want to go into research, you know, you can see, you can seek that avenue. And if there's, you know, if you want to do community service, there's a big pop patient population, which we already talked about. And I think there are just a lot of opportunities for a route, for whatever you want to do. And if you're into academics, I feel like that's a big thing in medicine too. And that's definitely here with all the good faculty and advisors and that sort of thing. So I think there's everything you want to do at VCU. Everybody on this side, you turn your right shoulder in just a little bit. Here we go, look at this like that.